you know wrestling fans. There has been something that has been going on for quite some time now. Week in and week out throughout the wrestling community on YouTube. Throughout most of, uh, 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 of the, the people that do podcasting actually on YouTube. And that is the complaining and the griping and the moaning and groaning about SmackDown Live. About how horrible of a job Road Dog is doing as head writer on SmackDown Live. I have heard enough of everybody doing this. I just have to throw my two cents in, wrestling fans. You know, when we look at SmackDown Live, when we look at everything SmackDown Live has been through since its inception, the brand split, when USA Network said, okay, you're going live. You're having the brand split. When we look at all that, just think. It's went from sky high to down in the gutter. When the brand split originally happened, everybody was griping and complaining because they got the shaft. And what happened? They did an extraordinary job kicking the teeth down Monday Night Raw's throat to the point where they beat Raw in the ratings one week. And as soon as that happened, zip! SmackDown got changed of colors, SmackDown got changed all around, and... The same thing that happened years ago with, I think it was uh, uh, Paul Heyman as a head writer, happened this time. Very quickly, very shortly, the show went down the toilet. Change of head writer, change of everything. Now, under Road Dog, what do we have here? A two rivalry show. And one of them is with the authority figures themselves. And we do not even know if that's going to lead to a match with Daniel Bryan. That and AJ Styles and Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. That's it. That is the only two rivalries on SmackDown Live that the WWE is pushing to amount to anything. Under Road Dog. And we have WWE complaining about ticket sales. And wanting them to go back to co-exclusive pay-per-views and, 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 and all this stuff. Look, when it comes to SmackDown Live, is it partial WWE's fault about SmackDown being bad? Yes. It's not the head creative's fault when WWE has a show doing so good that it overtakes Raw and then they're like, oh, forget it. Forget it. We're going to stick somebody in here that's going to be an absolute puppet yes man and have the show literally be the B show. I'm sorry, Vinnie Mac, but that does not make it Brand warfare. Ruthless aggression. Like you wanted. 
when you announced it after WrestleMania through those later months. It's not brand warfare. So it's partially WWE's fault. And then you have to blame Road Dog to some extent too. Because let's just face it. As much as all they did was put a yes man puppet that Vince McMahon can dangle by the strings with. He can do some good writing. Build up characters. Put Rusev Day on the map like we want him to. Give the Bludgeon Brothers the Tag Team Championship like we've been wanting to see. They made the Usos great. It's time to make somebody else great as well. The Usos can be great even without the Tag Team Championship. Give us another rivalry besides the ones we have right now. Give us something more intriguing. Do something with Dolph Ziggler that makes us actually care about him. He signed with the WWE. Don't make him a downright jobber. Make him useful. Build your characters where we want to tune in every Tuesday night. And you wouldn't get people griping and complaining about your show. You might get people wanting to come to your show and get people to fill those seats every 18 inches as good old JR would say and you wouldn't have to have exclusive co-branded pay-per-views like WWE's thinking about doing which is horrible because Quite frankly, you're killing your mid-card. You'll just have a bunch of main event matches. And that's it. So. WWE needs to make it actual brand warfare. And Road Dog needs to give them actual good storytelling writing to make the fans want to tune in and then you would have a good product again but until you get that you are going to have the same old junk like we see every single week on SmackDown Live. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications, Facebook at 2007 Webby. Until I see you again, this is Webby, and I'll catch you on the other side of talking.